first frozen crater on the North Pole on the Red Planet. Key to human colonization in space. And if you'd like to see the ESA video of this crater, it seems to me very strange in that it's uplifted in the middle. Frozen, but it, all around it, it's evenly spaced out. It's uh, level on top, but it's somehow uh, raised in the middle. Now, this is a footage of the Martian Canyon, the icy area of the North Pole of Mars. It's understood to be likely the source of water, which is, of course, now frozen, and it would be needed and useful for future human colonists. And it has never been, it has been unveiled in this incredible flyover video by ESA, the European Space Agency. They released a never before seen view of the icy Martian Canyon. It's known as the Korolev Crater. This Korolev Crater is understood among scientists as the likely future source of water for astronauts, human colonists. And the flyover video is actually painstakingly reconstructed from combined scans of the surface of the planet. Topographical data captured by high-resolution stereo camera on board the Mars Express probe were used to produce this 3D landscape. The ESA's Mars Express mission was launched in 2003 before reaching Mars six months later and has been sending back images of the planet ever since then. The 50-mile-wide Korolev crater that we're looking at pictures of here is located in the northern lowlands of Mars, that is, towards the North Pole. And the video was produced with a resolution of 21 meters per pixel and shows the full extent of the crater. And as we see, you can see that it seems to be level on top, but the whole white area is raised, uh, which is, to me, very strange looking. Anyway, they say it's filled with ice all year round, as its floor is more than one mile deep below its rim, making it a natural cold trap which shields the ice from the elements. Korolev is believed to be one of the largest reservoirs of non-polar ice on Mars, they say, and the crater was named in honor of the chief Soviet rocket engineer Sergei Pavlovich Korolev, known as the father of Russian space technology in the footage released as a way of inviting the public to take a trip to the Red Planet, quote-unquote. The visualization starts with shots of Mars and then moves around Korolev for a spectacular view of this uh, area. But you'll notice when you see the video that the craters around there are not at all iced over. Only this one, for some odd reason. Now, what this material is, I have no idea. They seem to think, or they wish to think, wishful thinking, perhaps, that it's water. But if it was water, why isn't it, why isn't it on the craters next to this? Anyway, uh, the visualization starts with shots of Mars moving around Korolev. And uh, the, this comes as SpaceX Elon Musk, who recently successfully launched the two NASA astronauts towards the International Space Station, turns his sights now to Mars. In a letter to SpaceX employees in June, the... Uh, Leading entrepreneur Elon Musk said the main priority of his SpaceX rocket company was now Starship. And Starship is a prototype spacecraft that's intended to fly up to 100 humans at a time to Mars when combining combined with the upcoming super heavy rocket booster. And Mr. Musk said in the email, we need to accelerate Starship progress dramatically and immediately. Please consider the top SpaceX priority apart from anything that could reduce drag and return risk to be Starship. And uh, scientists at University of Bordeaux in France recently found out that the number of people required at a minimum to colonize, colonize Mars is 110, because uh, they have to help each other in what they do, that is, into producing oxygen, um, uh, somehow uh, sustaining themselves with their basic needs of air and uh, water, and heat and food resources so they have to have at least a minimum of 110 people with the first colonizers of Mars so there's still a lot to be done concerning this wishful thinking of colonizing Mars this is on Express UK by Ollie Smith and that's where you can find the embedded video by ESA
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.